Just simply close eyes. You will notice as you repeat the mantra, simultaneously the thoughts are going on. Thoughts are coming to your attention. This doesn't matter at all. In repeating the mantra, you are shifting the attention to be more predominant on the mantra. So it doesn't matter what thoughts are coming. Some thoughts are pleasing, some not pleasing. Your reaction to the thoughts is not important right now. You just recognize thoughts come and they go and you bring the attention again and again on the mantra that this becomes your focus. Watch also as you repeat the mantra, especially as you are singing out loud, that your belly, as we learned in the pranayam, your belly is wide as you inhale. And as you sing the mantra, you are connecting with your core, hum, strengthening your energy in your lower belly. As you amram hum, maduram hum, you're connecting with your pelvic core. This is very much grounding in the vibration at the very center. It is also awakening your kundalini shakti, your life force to rise up in a very fine ordered vibration. Hum. So watch now as we continue with the mantra that it is in rhythm with your yogic breath. Amaram hum. Madaram Ham Amaram Ham Madaram Ham Amaram Ham Madaram Ham Amaram Ham Madaram Ham Amaram Ham Madaram Amaram Madaram Amaram Ham Madaram Amaram Ham Madaram Amaram Ham Madaram Amaram Amaram Ham Madharam 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 After about 10 minutes of repeating the mantra, you will naturally start to transcend and there is a sense to want to stop repeating the mantra, to be silent. We will get an opportunity to be silent. I suggest at this point, you stay with the mantra. If you were speaking the mantra out loud, you may want to concentrate the attention to repeat the mantra in your mind internally. It's your choice. But whether you speak it out loud or repeat internally, stay with the attention on the mantra. As I said, there is a tendency to want to just transcend, space out, be kind of floaty. I want to stay with the mantra right now. 
And as I said, there will be a chance to deeply transcend at the end. Amaram ham, madharam ham. 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 Amaram ham. Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham. Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham. Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham. Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham, Madharam ham, Amaram ham. Madharam ham. Bringing the attention to the meaning. This is the description of your true self. This is a description. I am Amaram, indestructible, eternal presence. Madharam, I am blissful, free from the division and the strawa that is of experience, happy, unhappy, high and low. I am eternal presence. I am pure and free. Pure, meaning formless. Pure, meaning that which has not been attained, that which therefore cannot be lost. It is original you. This mantra is the description of your original you. I am. Hum. I am eternal. I am eternal presence. I am pure and free. Now watch 
as we sing the mantra, bringing the attention to the meaning. Watch the mind, how it resists to accept. Watch the resistance of the mind that cannot accept. Only you can accept. And we accept by repetition. Just as we learned our names by repetition. And we were conditioned to accept our qualities belonging to the body, belonging to our human nature. We accept it through repetition. So too do we accept our original true state of being, pure and free, ever present by repetition. So we bring now the attention to the meaning that this is the song, the mantra, the truth of your true self. Aham, I am pure, free, indestructible being. Amaram, 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 Focus on the acceptance and we watch the resistance of the mind of the ego conditioning. It comes and it goes. It cannot dominate you, cannot divide you. 
cannot control you and certainly cannot define you because you are defining yourself by your true nature, Amaramham, Madaramham. So by focusing on the mantra, spoken or internal, and on the meaning that it is the nature of your true self, ever present, pure and free, then this practice, this force of your own repetition becomes your conviction, becomes your reality. You live your truth, your true reality as we all are originally being. We will notice now, as time passes, in the repetition of the mantra, as the space becomes finer and finer, we will start to notice space between the repetition. As we pause for some space, keep the attention finely focused this is your truth. This space is not empty. It is not nothing. It is you. You are meeting your true self in the silence. The space enhanced by the repetition of the mantra. Made perceptible because of the repetition of the mantra, undistracted by the resistance of the ego mind. Amaram ham, madharam ham. Amaram ham. Madharam Ham Amaram Ham 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 Madharam Ham Madharam Ham Amaram Ham Madharam Ham Amaram Ham Madharam Ham Amaram Ham 
มาเธอรำรำอำมาลันพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลันพันมาเธอรำรำอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำรำอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอำมาลำพันมาเธอรำพันอ
Silence is ever present and thoughts are continuous, coming and going. What do you attend? It is a mistaken assumption that because there are waves, as in thoughts, feelings, sensations, because there are waves, that the silence is lost. And this is not true. And this is the greatest misconception. Silence is you. It is your original state of being. Call it silence, call it pure, call it free. It is you. And the wavering nature of the mind, which is the wavering nature of all this manifestation, cannot disturb, cut, or destroy you, original being, whose nature is silence purity, freedom. This is the revelation that will come from repeating mantra. So now watch in the remaining time. Silence is not disturbed by thoughts. You are not disturbed by thoughts. The repetition of the mantra has tuned you into your true nature. Amaram Ham, Madaram Ham, eternal presence, pure and free. Amaram Ham, Madaram Ham. Amaram Ham, Madaram Ham. There is no more to attain. You are with yourself. Amaram Ham, Madaram Ham.
that which you attend becomes your reality. If you attend only I am body and all the conflicting qualities that are associated with body mind, ego identity, complexity of trying to hold on to some kind of certainty. When you realize that this is something that you have adopted, this ego identity is something which was superimposed on you, something you accepted. Now you cannot now reject that and you need not reject that, but you can accept your original self, your original pure and free nature, simply by turning your attention to it. You don't make it so, you recognize it has always been so, which means ever present. Anaramham, Madramham is your reality that you are ever present, pure and free. Repeat this mantra during the week until we meet again and let it become a part of you. Repeat it when you're working in the garden. Repeat it when you're doing your dishes. Repeat it when you're making your bed. Repeat it when you're sitting by yourself. Repeat it when you go for a walk. Accept the vibration, Amram Ham, Madram Ham, and the truth of its meaning. Amram Ham, Madram Ham, Amram Ham, Madram Ham. I hope you fall in love with this mantra as I have. <laughs>